We are talking with the amazing, amazing Janet McTeer, who's just been named Best Actress in a Play for her the title role of the revival of Mary Stewart. Did you have any um, second thoughts about coming over with this play to America? No, 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 none at all. We've been planning it for four years. We did it in London in 2005, and it's taken this long for me and Harriet and Phillida all to be free at the same time. So no, we've been planning it the whole time. And has the reaction been what you expected from American audiences? It's been amazing. People have been really, um, they just enjoy watching the show and we were a little nervous because it's, you know, it's an English history play, but uh, it translates really well and people seem to enjoy it. So yeah, we're very, very, very happy. It's a very physically demanding role. Uh, it's a three hour play. You do a lot of <laughs> running around here in the rain. What kind of regimen do you keep up to be able to be on stage in such full force every night? I know, it's, it's, it's quite dull actually, my routine. I eat all the right things and I go to the gym before every show and I don't drink apart from Sunday nights. I will have a very large martini tonight, let me tell you, because I don't have a show tomorrow. And uh, yeah, all that. And then I go in, in the rain and then I come off in the rain. I go straight into a shower and I have ginger tea. I'm so boring, I can't tell you how boring I am. <laughs> what is it that you love most about being an American? What is it that you miss most about not being in England right now? What I love most, I, I love the fact that in this um, huge, huge, huge country, there's this tiny little island, Manhattan, and uh, everybody comes and, you know, uh, comes to New York and watches all this amazing theatre. I love that. I love the fact that it is genuinely a community. The number of actors I've met just in the short time I've been here, and I see them, we all go to the same bars after the show, and it's all, you know, for a cranberry juice. It's all, you know, we all do the same thing. And that's really fantastic. I love all of that. I really, really, really love that. And the real joy that people have about... I was walking across Times Square the other day, and I heard this, ma'am, ma'am, excuse me, ma'am. And I turned around, there was this traffic cop with a hat and the yellow thing and there's something. I thought, oh shit, what have I done wrong now? And he went, ma'am, we're so glad you're back on Broadway. And I thought, that would never happen in London. You'd never get some traffic cop in London saying that to you. It's just, it's very exciting, the celebration of theatre here. What I miss most about London is my loved ones, my animals, my house, the people I live with, all of those kind of things. I miss all of that. I do not miss the rain, because by Christ, you've got enough here. <laughs> Bloody hell. <laughs> yes, we did that just for you, because we're trying to convince you to move here permanently. Could you? Hey, you know what I mean? April showers in London, and you've still got them here. It's unbelievable. Would you ever consider making America your second home? Well, it sort of feels like it is my second home in a funny kind of way. I mean, I've only been here a few times, but the times I've been here, I've really loved it. And um, I would love to be here more. I think I, I just wasn't here more because at that time it didn't work out family-wise. But um, I do love it. I love it here. Well, if there's anything we can do to get you to come back, just say the word and we'll make it happen. Congratulations. Thank you very much.